you? James. How are you? How is it going? I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Pretty good. Thank you yeah. for waiting patiently. I appreciate you. Sure. Took a little while longer than usual. We do have the students in the office, so okay. getting them all settled, and they are in the bay watching, and we do have your consent for that, yeah. correct? Okay. That's fine. Perfect. We appreciate you. Obviously, they need to learn somehow, and this tends to be the easiest way. We just allow them to observe okay. before they actually come in and start practicing on patients. Okay. And I believe we have Baby Cat with you today as well. Good yes. to see you, Baby Cat. I will kind of let her do her own thing for now. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> so I did want to ask you a couple of questions about your visit today. Okay. Um, I spoke with the nurse and she said you're having some headaches. Yeah. Some I abnormal am. headaches and a little bit of trouble sleeping. That's correct. Okay. So why don't you tell me a little bit about what's going on? How long has this been happening? When did it start? Did anything... Um, kind of exacerbate these symptoms or let me see it's been more than two weeks now okay um just just having headaches more so at night okay um i do do a lot of work on the computer during the day mm -hmm. i work from home um i also do some personal computing as well um and some tv watching so there are times when day where i need to rest my eyes okay when i feel some pressure behind them but i have been doing that but i'm still getting headaches at night um I shower, I lay down to go to bed, but then I can't sleep. Okay. So, go on my phone for a little while. I know that's not good. Um, I do put it on the mode where, you know, the light isn't as distracting. Okay, so you have it on, like, the warm setting? Yes. Perfect. So, you know, 45 minutes to an hour on my phone. My eyes are more tired, um, but I just can't seem to fall asleep. Okay, so you've been having some headaches, but you are taking some proactive measures to kind of... I'm trying to. I'm trying to. I'm not as bad. Are you taking anything <clears throat> for it as far as like Tylenol, ibuprofen, Aleve, anything like that? No. Um, normally at night I don't take anything. Maybe if it was during the day I would take an Aleve or an Advil. Okay. But at night, you know, just have a drink of water and just go to bed. I try okay. to go to bed. And you're not currently prescribed anything by your doctor as far as like migraine medicine or anything like that? No, I'm not. And this is newly onset for you, correct? You don't have a history of headaches. I don't see anything in your medical history that states you have a history right. of headaches. Right. Okay. Do you typically have trouble sleeping, or is that also new for you? No, I don't have trouble sleeping normally. No. Okay. Once I lay down, that, that's it. Okay. I might stay up late, but once I lay down to go to sleep, I have no trouble sleeping usually. Okay. And how many hours a night would you say you usually get? Mm, six to eight. Do you feel like that's enough for you? I do. So you feel well rested after six to eight hours? Yes. Have you been getting that much sleep recently or has it been less than that? I've been trying to. I've been in bed during those hours, but just not sleeping. Okay. Are you having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep or both? Just falling asleep. Falling asleep. So once you're asleep, you're okay, but getting there is yes. what's... Okay. Yeah. Do you feel like that is related to the headaches, or do you think it's coincidental that these two things kind of happened around the same time? I think they're working together. Okay. So you feel like the headaches are what's keeping you from falling asleep? Partially, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Are you having any other symptoms besides this? Any symptoms with your sinuses? Any symptoms... Otherwise, pain, aches, anything like that. Anything no. that could maybe indicate any sign of infection that's causing the headache. No, everything else seems to be fairly normal. Okay. Any increased stress levels in your life? No, same, same okay. stress. Okay. Has anything changed recently? Have you moved? Have you made any major purchases that maybe would be causing you stress that you're not thinking about? Any major lifestyle changes or is everything pretty much the same? Nothing, I think. I can think of, so uh, everyone, everything's the same. I can't think of anything. Got it. Are you currently in any pain? No, I'm not. Okay. And do you currently have a headache? No, I don't. Okay. And the headaches typically onset at night? Correct. Okay. Are you drinking enough water during the day? About how much water are you drinking generally? Um, I do drink a lot of water. Um, I have a couple of 32 ounce cups, so I get at least three of those 32 ounce okay. cups in, in a day. So definitely drinking plenty of water. Yeah. 
And can you tell me a little bit about your caffeine intake? Do you drink coffee in the morning or caffeinated tea? Yes, in the morning I always have coffee first thing. Coffee. And is that one glass? It's a one cup. cup. Yeah, it's one cup. Okay. Um, it's probably, Regular. It's probably a little stronger coffee than, than usual. Okay. But one, <laughs> one so cup. So like an yes. espresso blend? Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so one cup of that should be fine. And no other caffeine consumption throughout the day. Do you drink no. any dark sodas? I haven't in a while. Not typically. Um, I have a Pepsi every now and then, but it's it's rare. Okay. Not, not even once a week. And are you eating enough throughout the day? I believe so. Nothing that would indicate this being blood sugar related. No. Okay. Any recent illnesses? Cold, flu... Um, sinus infection about a month ago, but okay. I feel 100% after that. Were you on any medication for that, like antibiotics? Was it no, bacterial? I'm just or taking just the viral uh, infection? Some over the counter cold and okay. flu meds. That's all. Got it. All right, James. Well, now that we have all of your preliminary information up to date. Thank you for that. We can go ahead and get started with the examination okay. and just make sure we have everything good here. Classes prescription is still up to date, correct? Yes, it's still fairly new. Good. Looks like you already updated your primary care information, which is amazing. All right, thank you so much for that. So let's go ahead and get started with the physical exam. Okay. What I would like to do essentially is the basics, get your vital signs, make sure everything is good with that, check okay. your blood pressure. Sometimes an elevated blood pressure can cause headaches, so we wanna okay. make sure that's doing well. Check your sinuses, I will be palpating your face quite a bit, okay. especially since you had the sinus infection recently, I wanna right. make sure that's not inhibiting anything. Okay. A lot of times a sinus headache can occur at night because your sinuses are overloaded, so that's definitely something we wanna check on. Right. I will do a couple other tests, and then we will go over some recommendations for your sleep issues that you're having. Definitely wanna rectify that for you, obviously, if you're not sleeping well, you're not feeling well. So that is very important to us. All right, James. Well, before we get started, I would like to thank Monta Sleep for sponsoring this video. We okay. appreciate working with them and we're very excited for the opportunity. That is amazing. Let me go ahead and put this away and we will go ahead and begin. There's a lot for us to go over. Okay, so I'm just going to put this away. And I will go ahead and put on my gloves. Of course, before I do that, I'm just going to quickly sanitize my hands. So you said you're not experiencing any pain at this time? No, I'm not. Okay, so no headache right now. No. Okay, so now that my hands are clean, let me go ahead and put my gloves on. And we can begin with the examination. So I would like to start with just having a look at your face overall, okay. kind of getting a feel for your sinuses and okay. seeing if there's anything more obvious that might be going on. So I have okay. a light here, and for now you don't have to do anything, just kind of relax and I'm going to shine it over your face, okay? Sure. So we'll be getting a little bit closer to you, is That's that okay? That's yep. Just want to have a look to see if there's any swelling, specifically around the maxilla, and like on your cheeks, near your nose. And then, of course, on your forehead. Can you tell me or point to where exactly the headaches it's are like most affecting you? Right in the front, over my eyes. Okay. So definitely in the sinus area. So you have, obviously, sinus cavities that run in your nose, as right. well as down the sides of your face and kind of up along your forehead. Okay. So that does make sense, given the sinus infection that you had. Okay. Just looking for any abnormal swelling there, which I'm not seeing. Okay, so let me go ahead and take your vital signs and then we can move from there. I'm gonna start off by checking your blood pressure. 
Is it alright if I check it on this side? Sure, that's fine. Yeah, I'll do very short arm body. And this one is designed to work on the forearm, so go ahead and place it here. It's gonna be a little tight. gonna get my stethoscope out and I will be placing this on your brachial artery and listening to check your blood pressure here so excuse me while I place this inside your elbow this is gonna be very cold okay just gonna feel it tighten up a little bit it might be uncomfortable but it shouldn't cause you any pain just breathe normally for me okay Perfect, so your blood pressure is 135 over 77, which is well within normal limits. So you are good to go there. All right. Set this aside while I check your oxygen saturation. This will go on your finger. And it will take just a couple seconds to read. And while that's reading, I'm going to go ahead and take your temperature. Okay. Just checking it at a couple different places, making sure there are no temperature abnormalities anywhere that could indicate an infection. All of that is within normal limits, okay. as well as your oxygen saturation, which is good news. Okay. So nothing in your vital signs is indicating anything wrong, which is great. Give me just a second while I put this away. Perfect. Okay. So while I have my stethoscope out, I would just like to listen to your heart. Listening for any abnormalities, making sure that everything is working okay. All right. Okay. So I'm just going to place this in a couple different places on your chest. I want you to just breathe normally for me, okay? Sure. So I am able to hear S1 and S2. S3 and S4 are not audible, which is good. Bell sounds are normal and active. I'm just gonna place this behind you and briefly listen to your lungs. Sure. Take a couple deep breaths for me, so go ahead and breathe in deep. Good, and again. Good, and again. Perfect. One more. Great. Lung sounds are healthy. No diminished sounds. Everything sounds normal there. So definitely nothing indicating any abnormalities in the heart or lungs, which is great news. 
So what I would like to do now is have you look at the Snellen chart okay. and um, just doing a very brief test to make sure that you are able to see properly. Obviously you have your glasses on and this is at a closer distance than we would normally test for. So okay. I'm going to test the very bottom line okay. and see if you are able to read this okay. So sure. if I could have you start here. Mm -hmm. P-E-Z-O-L-C-F-T-D. Can you see this color okay? Yes. Can you tell me what color that is? It's green. And here? It's red. Perfect. Okay. So you can see all of that yes. normally. Good. So if I can have you take your glasses off for just the next couple of minutes, sure. I do want to go ahead and do some palpations of your sinus cavity. So. Okay. Perfect. So I'm going to have a look here while I palpate. So I'm going to shine the light on one side of your nose and if there's any transfer. Good. So this is going to be a little odd. I'm going to shine this on your cheek. I'd like you to open your mouth. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So now I'm going to come a little closer mm -hmm. and do some palpating of your sinus cavity. Okay, so okay. this might be just slightly uncomfortable. Okay. So let me know if at any point this causes you any pain or is uncomfortable or creates kind of a fullness in your face. A little bit of pressure here. as well. Okay, so I am feeling definitely some fullness in the brow. Yeah, I feel it. Feel it here. Yeah. Okay, I do feel a little bit of swelling indicating an overload in your sinus cavity. Feel it on the sides here as well. Yeah, it's like pressure. A little bit less there, but I still feel it. Less here, more so on this side? Yes. Okay. And underneath the eye as well? Or not as much? Not as much. And how about along the jawline? Yes, I feel sore. Sore, okay. Can I have you open and close for me? Does that hurt at all? No. Okay, good. So no clicking or popping there. Just having you feel for some of your lymph nodes. I am not noticing any swelling here. Along your clavicle. So I'm going to do a little bit of palpating behind your ears. Do you feel any pain or pressure here? Slight pressure. And on this side? Mm, no, it's mostly on the left. Okay. check your pupillary reaction as well as check for sinus overload. So I don't know if you've ever noticed if you ever have a sinus infection or a cold and you go outside, the sun makes your eyes tear. Okay. So when there's a buildup of sinus pressure and you have fluid overload in your sinus cavity, the light can create that sensitivity. Yeah. So I'm going to test with a couple different lights and see if we're getting more of a reaction on the left side than on the right since you're feeling that buildup on this left side, okay? So I have a couple different lights here that I will use to test and simulate different light sources. So some of them are supposed to simulate UV light, okay. which would be like outside. Some of them are supposed to simulate warm light and we'll kind of change it up. So we'll start with this one. Okay. So let me just look straight ahead for me and I'm going to mm -hmm. shine this in your eyes. Any 
pain or discomfort on this left side? No. Okay. My reaction is within normal limits. I am seeing equal and bilateral reaction on both sides, so direct and consensual response is intact. Let's go ahead and test that with a different light source. And this one does simulate that UV light, okay? So let's see if there's any difference here. So we get a little bit of a reaction there. Pain or discomfort there? No. Okay. okay. Moving on to the next light. This one is a lot more dim, and this would simulate kind of a dim light on your phone. a very slight bit of reaction on the left side thus far. Okay. So we have one more light that I would like to test. Discomfort here? No. Excuse me when I come on the other side. Okay. okay. So what I'm going to do is cover one of your eyes and introduce the light to the uncovered side. Okay. As well. Okay, so just a tiny bit of an overreaction on that side. Okay. Okay. All right, James, so now I'm going to have a look in your eyes with this tool. This is called an ophthalmoscope, and this is going to allow me to get a much closer look in your eye. So I want you to just relax for me. I am going to be getting very close to your face, okay? Sure. You look up and look down. I'm just going to hold your eyelid as I have you do that, okay? Mm -hmm. I'll have you look down for me. Good, and look towards me. And to the right. And look one more time. Good. Okay, so let me look at the other side. Thank you. 
try to add for me. Glad I'm looking down into that. Kind of looks normal. There's no signs of abnormal redness or any signs of swelling or anything like that within the eyeball itself. So I'm gonna give you just a second to let your eyes resettle. Thanks. any pressure build up behind your eyes or is your headache increasing now there's a little bit of tearing but that's about it okay so i'm gonna go ahead and have a look inside your ears so because you had that sinus infection just ruling out any other infections ear infections and sinus infections tend to kind of run hand in hand so just gonna have a quick peek here and this is gonna be a little cold Shouldn't hurt. If it does, definitely let me know. Perfect. So you are seeing how that membrane is intact and is normal in color and texture. It's a very kind of opaque, translucent, pearly gray which is what we want to see we do see a little bit of earwax but definitely nothing out of the norm no signs of infection whatsoever on this side membrane is intact, pearly gray in color, slightly less earwax on this side, but everything looks absolutely healthy, no issues there at all, very good. Okay. Go ahead and have a look inside your nose. So I'm not going to place this directly inside your nose, just okay. kind of off the base. It might tickle just a little bit. All right. Good. And I'm just going to pinch your nose slightly here. Mm -hmm. discoloration there very very slightly pink but nothing that I would say is concerning at all okay. Okay. let's go ahead and move on James what I would like to do now is some palpations or some percussions rather with my reflex hammer here. Okay. And I'm going to be percussing your sinuses. So, a couple different reflex hammers here and they're basically going to allow me to apply direct pressure to different parts of your sinuses. Okay. So let's begin with can begin with the most mild of the three. Excuse the helicopters, we have life flight training today, of course, so you will hear them going by pretty frequently. So I'm just going to be using this to apply very direct pressure on different parts of your face. It probably will be slightly uncomfortable, okay? where I'm seeing the most pressure build up. Okay. 
Can you feel that? Yes, I can. And compared to the other side, does that feel about the same? Mm, a little less pressure on this side. Okay. And below here, it feels okay? Yes, it does. On this side? Yes. And no discomfort here. No. And anything here? No, nothing. Okay. And this is okay. Yes. So I'm gonna do the same thing this time. I have a little bit of a bigger hammer. Okay. And I'm gonna use my two fingers as a stop so that I'm not just hammering your face, okay? Thank you. Definitely feeling the pressure build up in this area. Hang your jaw open for me. Very good. Just testing some of the reactivity of your eyes. Can I have you open your eyes? Mm -hmm. This is gonna be slightly uncomfortable. I'm gonna bring this towards your eye, okay. and I'm trying to induce the natural reaction for you to blink. So okay. generally when something comes flying towards your eye, right. your body closes your eyes as mm -hmm. protection. So right. I just wanna make sure that's intact. So okay. don't worry, I'm not actually gonna hit you with it. Okay. there. Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to give you a tissue. You do have a little bit of held up in this eye. Thanks. You look up for me. So your sinuses on this side are definitely overloaded, which is why we're getting the drainage. Okay. So I'm purposely manipulating it to see if that's gonna happen, and obviously it is. And you can even see here that there's that pressure buildup in your forehead, and right. definitely not as much on that side. So your sinuses are overloaded. Okay probably related to your headaches and obviously what's keeping you from sleeping. Mm -hmm. So as I was saying, by the end of the day, your sinuses have kind of taken all they can take, really, yeah. so put it in layman's terms. So by the time you go to sleep, and especially when you lay down, mm -hmm. um, it's almost like positional asphyxiation to your sinuses. You laying down kind of cuts off the flow, right. which is why a lot of people, as soon as they lay down, tend to feel like they can't breathe through their nose at all. Mm -hmm. And then when they sit up, that pressure is relieved a little bit. It really is very positional. Okay. So that's why you're having more of the trouble when you're laying down. And obviously it's hard to sleep when you can't breathe through your nose. Yeah. So are you still taking the cold medicine or have you stopped taking it? No, I've it? stopped taking it. So I do think this is viral. I don't think it's a bacterial infection. You don't have any drainage of mucus or anything like that that's indicating any kind of infection that would require antibiotics. Right. I do, however, think that you should be taking a mucus pill over the counter just to kind of relieve some of your symptoms. Okay. So I can prescribe you that or you can pick it up at the pharmacy, but I can give you some recommendations. Okay, I'm open to it. Just to help relieve some of this pressure a little bit. It's not something you would take every day consistently, maybe just take every day for the next four or five days okay. and see if that helps relieve some of that excess pressure buildup, okay? Okay. Let me just set this down. Let's go 
ahead and move on to the next portion of the examination. And I would like to go ahead and check your sense of smell to make sure that's not inhibited at all by the sinus pressure problems that you're having. So I have a couple different things here that I will have you smell. They are all fairly common. Okay. Just to give you a little bit of a hint, they're essential oils and they are scents that you would use maybe to help induce sleep or relaxation okay so they're kind okay. of in that family of smells okay. and they all look pretty similar so you can't tell what they are from the back of the packaging okay. so i'll have you close your eyes as i open these and i want you to just take a very gentle whiff and tell me what you think it might be okay first one here I want you to go ahead and kind of gently waft mm. eucalyptus very good that is eucalyptus okay, okay we have two more might be a little difficult to place it's not as common but you should know what it is or at least know the notes behind it okay. mm. you need to smell it again yeah I think so. it's like a spicy lime okay <laughs> It's called, but it's like a citrus, like a spicy citrus. Okay, it's bergamot, so okay, fairly. Accurate. I'm not sure if I know what that is. <laughs> okay, um, it's just one of the common essential oils that people use to help them sleep, so okay. it's very good. You did well with that, I would consider that passing. Yeah. So let's move on to the next portion of our examination. And obviously, these next few tests were just making sure that all of your normal senses are intact okay. so i have just a syringe here with a little bit of liquid in it obviously okay. it's clear so you can't tell what it is i'm going to place a very small drop on your tongue and i'd like you to just name it for me if you can okay okay go ahead and stick your tongue out and one two three salt water salt water yes very good <laughs> Apologize for that, it's probably not very pleasant. It's okay. okay. Okay, so I am going to have a look in your mouth. So if I could just have you open, stick your tongue out, say ah. Uh, Good, have a look at the back of your throat there. And if you can lift your tongue to the roof of your mouth, perfect, okay, soft palate looks good. I have a tongue depressor here. And I will be using this to test your pharyngeal reflex, also known as your gag reflex. So, okay. apologize in advance. This is going to be uncomfortable for uh, just a sec. Good. Gag reflex is definitely intact. Okay. Now, because you did have a little bit of that discomfort in your jaw, mm -hmm. I would like to test and rule out TMJ. So I didn't hear any okay. clicking when you opened and closed your jaw, which is what I was looking for. Right. But this is a bite block. Okay. And I'll be placing this in different quadrants of your mouth. I'll have you bite down and I'm going to tug on it slightly. Okay. It creates a little bit of pressure in your jaw. And I want you to let me know if it hurts you at all, OK? Sure. So go ahead and open. Bite down. Any pain or pressure here? No. Good. Other side? Any pain or pressure here? No. Good. Right in the middle, bite down hard. Mm -mm. Okay, one more time here. Mm -mm. And laterally here. No. All of that feels okay. Feels fine. Perfect. So no abnormalities there. So let's move on to the next portion of our examination. We are okay. almost done with the physical portion. You are doing really well. Thank you. I would like to test very briefly your sensation. Um, Mostly testing to see if there are any 
sensory abnormalities or any increased sensitivity, I should say, okay. around your eyes, specifically the left side. Okay. So what I'm looking for, not so much as if you can feel, because obviously you can. You can feel this and you can feel this and your sensation is not lost at all. Right. So there are seemingly no neurological deficits, but I do want to check to see if there's any reactivity or overreactivity okay. on the left side, okay? Sure. So I have a couple different tools here that I'll be using to just simulate touch around your eye and okay. basically I'm looking to see what the reaction of your eye is, okay? Yes. So I'm going to start on the unaffected side. Okay. So just kind of lazily keep your eyes open. Don't force it, but if you need to blink, you can blink. Okay. at the same time. Okay. Okay. I'm gonna repeat that with a couple different, very specific tools here. So these are little brushes and they're textured similarly but slightly different. Okay. This one is a little more fluffy and this one is slightly more wiry. Okay. So I'm going to test the same thing and I will start with the one that's a little more distinct. Okay. So testing on the unaffected side first. So I am getting an overreaction here. I'm not sure if you can tell, but when I touch it on this side, it's what I would consider normal. When I touch it here, <laughs> you're tearing up. So obviously you're having an overreaction on this side. So here's a tissue if you need it. So I'm gonna repeat that test with the softer one and this will likely cause even more of a reaction given that it is so soft. So let's try that here. And I do apologize. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, so definitely an overreaction on that side. So I will give your eyes a break. We have our answer there. Your sinuses are overloaded. Let's go ahead and finish up your physical examination with our last few tests. So, this is a little hard to see. There's a little fishing wire on the end of this, and I'm going to use this to elicit a response in your eyelid. So, again, looking for that blinking response. Okay. This time it will actually touch your eyelid. Okay, so just relax for me. Good. Perfect, okay. All right, so moving on to a brief test of your hearing. Obviously, you can hear me at a normal level as I'm speaking, so I right. don't suspect you're having any hearing loss. Do you feel like you're hearing normally on both sides? I do. Okay, so very brief hearing test here. I'll do maybe two tests and see how it goes. I have a little pipette here, and this is going to create a very, very kind of quiet, slight noise. Can you hear that? Yes, I can. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to do it directionally. I want okay. you to tell me where you hear it, and it can be anywhere around your head, okay? All right. Left side, right side, in front of me. Left side, left side, left side, right side, right side, left side. Good. So I'm going to create another noise, this time with my gloves. Okay. Same thing, just say left or right if you hear it, okay? Okay. Right side, left side, both, 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 left side, right side, no, back, left. This time tell me what side it starts on and what side it ends on, okay? Yes. Started left, ended right. Started right, ended left. 
Start in middle, both one out, left and right. Okay, very good. So no issues with your hearing. All of that is well within normal limits. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now, and this will be the last portion of our physical examination. Okay. So I have a little bit of an acupressure tool here, mm -hmm. and this is going to allow me to help those sinuses drain just a little bit more than they currently are. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is just apply some gentle pressure okay. along the length of your sinus cavity, just like this. And it's just going to allow some of that mucus to kind of flow and start to drain. Right. 20 or so minutes from now, you might feel your nose running and that's normal. That's what we want. Okay, help okay. get rid of that sinus pressure that's built up in there. So okay. just relax for me. This might be slightly uncomfortable, but it shouldn't hurt at all. Brow seems to be the, the target right about there, like halfway through. Yeah, but yeah. Okay. So what that's going to do, like I said, is just encourage the fluid to move and drain properly. Yeah. So you get a little bit of that release. So okay. the reddening of your skin obviously will die down and you will feel your nose running, but that's what we want. You need to get the mucus out, okay? Okay. James, so let's go ahead and move on to some recommendations that I think will help you sleep. So you're definitely having trouble sleeping. You're not getting quite enough. Even on an average basis, six to eight hours isn't quite where I'd like you to be. Everybody's okay. body is a little bit different. If you could aim for an average of seven, okay. anywhere from seven to nine is generally what we recommend. Some people yeah. do require slightly less. Right. But it's really just kind of up to your body, but you're obviously not resting enough right now. So okay. let's try to get you to sleep easier. So what I would recommend is a sleep mask. It's what I used to sleep. It's what I recommend to a lot of my patients. And I'm going to go ahead and get you fitted for that now. Okay. So I have a couple different tools here that I will be using to ensure a proper and comfortable fit. Excuse me while I just take these out and gather the mask as well as the supplies so that I can show you how to use it and we can get you all fitted, okay? All right. Now, I did want to ask you a couple preliminary questions. Okay. Do you listen to anything when you're going to sleep? Do you listen to ambient music? Do you listen to any sleep sounds? Do you listen to specific kind of content is there anything that you're listening to audibly while you're sleeping sometimes i do sleep sounds okay and you do that on your phone is that via headphones yeah either on my phone or through alexa okay perfect so you do you are listening to something yes okay so i have a couple different options for you okay and i want to start with the fitting to make sure we're getting the proper fit so okay, okay so i'm going to measure the circumference of your head and I'm gonna measure this right over your eyes. This is where you will be wearing the mask. Okay. So we're right at maybe just over 25 inches. Okay, good. And I'm gonna do just a couple of measurements eye to eye here and I want to see if we need to adjust the size at all. So 
this is a caliper and essentially just using this to compare the measurements of one side to the other and they're pretty equal from side to side. So this is the Montesweep sound mask and it's a very high quality mask. Let me measure this to make sure that we are getting the correct circumference for your head and of course we can always adjust it. at the top twenty five inches perfect back here okay and then let me go ahead and measure eye to eye so we can adjust the eye cups because they are adjustable I'm just going to use this as well. Just make sure we get a comfortable fit here. So. Alright, so the eye cups are removable. And I'm going to take these off and ensure we are getting the proper fit. Okay. Now I have a couple different cups that we can try. Okay. And I do want to show you they are made for both stomach, back, and side sleepers. So we have a C-shaped cup here with tapered edges. So if you're like myself and you sleep on your side, you're gonna place this on your face. The tapered edge kind of streamlines to yeah. the side of your face so I that see. there's not any pressure on the side while you're sleeping. So right. that's definitely key. So I have these measured to custom fit your eyes. And obviously we can try the next set that I have as well to see what you prefer. Okay. So of course making sure the tapered edge is on the outside and obviously when you wear this at home you want to make sure that the nose bridge is on the bottom. So let's go ahead and try this out. Perfect and I have it measured to 25 inches. And let me know if that's comfortable. It is, actually. Okay. <laughs> Good. You look very futuristic. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Now, while you have it on, I do just want to test a couple of the features here. So the mask does fully black out any light if it's positioned correctly. So I'm going to shine a light, and I want you to tell me if it's peeking anywhere inside the mask so we can ensure a proper fit here, okay? Yep. So if at any point you see the light, you let me know. No, I don't see anything. In here. Can I have you tilt your head back for me? Anything peeking in here? Good. I don't see anything. Can you bring your chin to your chest? Nothing here. No. Perfect. So we do have a great fit there. You can go ahead and relax your head. And I'm gonna go ahead and take this off for just a second. Okay. So as you can tell, now that you've worn it, the fabric is amazing. It's extremely soft and flexible. It's cool to the touch, so it won't cause any excess sweating or anything like that. Right. Should you need to wash it, you can do so by hand. Now I do want to go ahead and try a different set of the cups on. So because you said you're having some issues with your sinus pressure, and obviously we found that your sinuses are overloaded. Yeah. I have a second option here, and I think these would be a good fit for you. Okay. So prior to using these, you would pop them in the freezer for an hour, and then you would place them on the mask. So okay. let me get these measured for you right. so that we can make sure they are fitting you properly. And I want you to try to see if these are comfortable as well. So the cool cups paired with the sound mask is amazing, so you can have the benefit of the cooling 
relieving your sinus pressure while you're listening to whatever your sound of choice is while you're sleeping. Okay. So we'll go ahead and place this on you just as we did before. Okay. Okay, you can let me know if that's comfortable. Yes. Looks great. And once again, I'm going to do the light test. Okay. So at any point you see any light, let me know. No. Good. So completely blackout design. Okay. So now let's go ahead and talk about the sound feature because I do think this would be helpful for you. Okay. So let me remove these while we measure your ears. Okay. So these are Bluetooth capable, and you'd obviously just connect them to whatever device you're using. Okay. So I'm just gonna measure from the bridge of your nose. So ears about eight inches. Slightly less on this side. So that's why we wanna take your measurements. They are completely adjustable and customizable, so why not make sure they fit you perfectly? Right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the regular pro cups back on and ensure that from the bridge of your nose we have the correct fitting so essentially from the bridge of your nose we're going to adjust mm -hmm. these very razor thin Bluetooth pieces over to fit perfectly with your measurements, just slightly more on this side, okay, good, I'll try this on one last time, okay. this time I'm going to go ahead and play some sleep sounds, it will be just a very brief sound clip by an ASM artist known as Siesta with Sarah, so I'll start that now, okay. and I want you to tell me if you can hear everything okay, and if you feel like the measurements are correct, and these are adjusted properly, okay? So the sound will start now. Okay, I can hear it. Okay, and we feel like these are in place okay? Do yes. they need to be adjusted at all? No, that feels Good. fine. Okay, Good. so let's go ahead and remove that. Very good. Okay, so these are your custom measurements, and I can write these down for you if you'd like to use them at home. It is very easy to adjust the mask. It's okay. made with this razor thin Velcro, doesn't stick to anything but the mask itself. And obviously, the fabric is highly breathable. Like I said, it won't cause you to be any hotter than you normally would be because that's a concern of some people, but right. that shouldn't be a problem, especially if you're using those cooling eye cups. And I'm just going to go ahead and place these back in the freezer bag. If for whatever reason you weren't wanting to wear the sound mask and you're not listening to anything on a given night, I also have the Pro mask and the Pro, the same thing, it just doesn't have the Bluetooth component, so it's okay. still fully adjustable with that micro Velcro same textured fabric and okay. it does also have the c-shaped cups that you can adjust to fit however you'd prefer and this one is slightly more lightweight okay oh yeah all right perfect yep okay so i will get you sent home with all of that and hopefully it will help reduce your sleep i would guess probably on the first night you'll start to feel a lot better okay so we'll implement those now when we performed our sense of smell test, I had you smell a couple different things and those right. are actually also from Monta Sleep. Okay. These are the Monta Sleep aromatherapy patches okay. and they come in a, a couple different varieties. So we have the eucalyptus, lavender and bergamot, which are the ones that I had you smell. Right. So the spicy citrus yes. was the bergamot. So you did very well with that test, okay. but basically just to give you a demonstration, these are individual aromatherapy patches that you can adjust to fit in the mask. So it does come with a little holder that you would place it in and then place it inside the mask and they are individual patches that you would use okay. and then obviously dispose of them when you're done. Okay. So they All smell right. amazing and it has that aromatherapy benefit which I do use and it does help you sleep. So. It smells good. 
I will send you home with a trial of these as well. Okay. All right, James, we are just about done with your examination. And once again, I would like to thank Monta Sleep for sponsoring this video. We yes. are thankful and grateful to be working with them. We appreciate the opportunity. And for any viewers that would like to purchase the Pro or Sound Mask or any of the accessories discussed in today's video, they can head to the description box where the link is at the top of the box, as well as in the pinned comment of this video. Be sure to use code SIESTA for 10% off. And like I said, I would like you to take an over-the-counter mucus medication. Would you like me to give you a prescription for that? Sure, that'd be okay. great. So I will go ahead and write that up for you and you can pick that up at the desk on your way out. Okay. Pharmacy, you have listed on file, okay? Yes. Okay, perfect. So I'll give you a 10-day prescription. I don't foresee you needing it for that long, but you can use it throughout the duration if you need it. Okay. And if your symptoms persist, I would like you to let me know. But I do believe that everything we discussed today will help you get to better sleep. Thank you. Obviously, we are pro-nap here at Siesta with Sarah, mm -hmm. so you can check out that movement at Monta Sleep as well. Sure. Okay, well, you are good to go. Thank you, James and Baby Cat, for coming in. Thank you. Have a good night.